See, that seriously gets pretty frantic after a while, I'm not gonna lie. My goodness, but okay. A profit has most certainly been made. There we go. Oh, it actually shows like this one did the best this time around. Hey, step up your game, Yuki. There we go, all right, another 395 fans. That's what you get for not spending as much money. Makes sense, makes sense. 1,500 fans. Well done, Yoda-chan. Looks like our hard work's paid off. Yes, but Hino ain't gonna take this lion down. Oh no, this is really bad. Simmer down, lady type. Don't cause a ruckus. I can't simmer down. We got a challenge from Club Mars. Nani? Well, it looks like we're finally going up against them head to head. Wonder how that works. According to the challenge, it says we fight it out in a cabaret club battle. Cabaret club battle? What's that? No clue. Oh no! A cabaret club battle? What's the matter? You're trying to pull yourself together. You know something about this thing? Yeah. It's Suttonbori Cabinet Industries' rare but terrifying method for clubs to duke it out. Two cabaret clubs compete by running their businesses and determining who made more money. Eh? Sounds pretty normal to me. Why is that so terrifying? The losing club, in the worst case scenario, the losing club has to close up shop. Nani? A cabaret club battle puts the club's prestige on the line. The losing club will be branded as a loser and its reputation will be ruined. Fans will drift away. As a result, many clubs have been forced to close. Really? A so-called battle has that much influence? Yeah, it does in Sutton Bari. So ten bure. There are many customers who choose a club based on the results of a recent battle. The five stars have built their power by defeating their competition in cabaret club battles and shutting them down. And now we might be next! So the gist of it is that this battle is so important it could shut down the whole club, eh? Majima-san, you're going to accept Hino's challenge, right? I mean, obviously. Yeah, I was gonna. But maybe we better talk about that a little more, you know? If you got any reason you want to back down, Yoda-chan. To be honest, I don't want to lose Club Sunshine. Yeah, I hear you. But if we back down now, there will be no future for Sotenbori's cabaret clubs. Majima-san. Yeah. Let's do it! We'll do the cabaret club battle. We can't let the five stars continue their reign of terror. Yoda-chan. <laughs> if we're gonna do this, we're going it to win. That might not be much help, but I'll do my best. <laughs> eh, of course. <laughs> I'll help. I'll work as much as my salary can cover. That would be no different than any other day, wouldn't it? <laughs> Club Mars is a powerful opponent in the sense that it is the first one and therefore basically, you know, the, the tutorial one. Let's make sure to sort out the staff lineup and get ready before we do this. You now choose to battle Club Mars. Well, clearly we gotta battle Club Mars. We just gotta do that. That's just how we do things. All right, do you want to run the Cabaret Club? You know I do. All right, let's do it. First things first, let's check out all of the various things. Seeing as how this is going to be an important battle and what have you, I'll actually show this one. Anyway, prepare to open. Let's take a look-see here. Yep, 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 that's what I thought. Lacking in health for the majority of these poor lady types. That's okay. We don't need a lot. We just need to do good enough. And as long as I'm on the money with all of their hand signals and everything, we should be okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I say we're good to go as is. And I don't see how this could possibly go horribly for me. Yep, let's go. Ha oh, dang. Hello, Club Sunshine, my favorite little ant farm. You all seem to be scuttling about as mindlessly as ever. Club Mars is Hino, right? You're the one who dragged your ass to the nest. Want to take a swing and see what happens? Uh -huh. Ha! Don't get cocky, little roach. I could crush this club under my foot at any time if I feel like it. I'm looking forward to giving you give it yeah, forward to you giving that a try. We'll see who gets crushed. You insects sure do dream big these days. No grip on reality. Oi. Answer me this, Goromajima. What is the most powerful thing in the world? Godzilla. It's money. I'm pretty sure Godzilla could probably beat the crap out of a bank. You're a winner if you have money. And if you don't, you're a loser. And to me, I have money. Lots of it. It will never fix my incredibly hideous face, though. <laughs> Expensive liquor, great food, odd women. If you have money, you can have anything. If I want more customers, I can even pay for them. 
How do you think a uh, piss poor cabaret club like you is gonna win against my, what's in my wallet? Beats me. Well, no, until we try, but you know, running a club takes more than the cash you put in it. You continue to annoy me, you fly! But you know what? I'm gonna really enjoy watching you worms squirm, your worms squirm around in the ground begging not to die. All right, let's do this then. Club Sunshine, we're open for business. Yeah! It's time. Dear God, that man is unpleasant looking. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, who do you want? Uh, who, who do you want to hang with? All right, and there you go. Just got to make sure to keep their health up as high as I possibly can, and everything will be hunky dinky dory. And activate that awesome sauce. Uh, eh. Fever rush mode thingy the best I can. Okay, well, anybody will do for you, I guess. All right, so far, not doing so great. I find that to be alarming. All right. Get to work, get to work, get to work, get to work, get to work. Oh, good lord, why is their money going up so high? Mars money rush? What? What's happening? What just happened? Due to rival interference. Okay. Well, this is going in a direction I was not anticipating. Okay. What exactly am I supposed to do about any of this? Wow, you don't like any of the people here? Well, aren't you just a big pile of worms? All right, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Okay, that's about the ashtrays. You want ashtrays? I got ashtrays for days. More ashtrays than you could possibly have any need for. All right. I mean... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Trouble resolved. Guest mood has improved. That's the first time that's ever happened. God damn. I think I might need to... Oh, boy, yeah. Can we... Can I forfeit? I've clearly made a terrible mistake. I thought this was going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Turns out it is nothing of the sort. Yeah, this dude is making way more money. I can't catch up to that. What am I supposed to do? Oh, boy. Thank you very much. Oh, boy. Yeah, problems have arisen. Problems have arisen to the point that I don't really know. And now we have a trouble. Uh, eh, guest left. Yeah, okay, apparently I'm just absolutely ass claps at this. I don't suppose this game's got a, like a mercy rule here. Clearly, none of these gals are, uh... I guess they're just not high enough a level or something. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Whatever it is, I'm, I'm clearly missing something vitally important to this whole procedure. Yeah, well, all I can do is my best, I guess. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, boy. I sure hope this doesn't doom us too much. Yes, I'm aware your HP is very low, and I'm sorry. There's precisely nothing whatsoever I can do about that. Why are there so many smokers in this place? Smokers are jokers. Yeah, yeah what's happening? Rival sales are up. How do I? How do I get, get, get some all sorts of? I don't know. How how do I like make those happen to him? This this is a fine kettle of butts we're dealing with here. We're doing very poorly. Very, very poorly. I mean, I'm not doing as poorly as I initially assumed, but I'm, we're still doing very poorly. Obviously. That much is clear. Right, get to work, get to work. Checker, please. 
Well, good ice your send off. There you go. Now get out of here, you scamp. All right, yeah, we've definitely lost. There is no doubt of that. Bum bada bum bada bum bada bum bum bum. Great. Ay ay ay. Why is this so much more difficult than it has any right to be? Yeah, you need some help? I'll help you. I'll give you the help. That's your way of saying ice. You need ice packs. There have been grievous injuries on set. Oh boy, oh boy. And a zoom, zoom, zoom. More ice. How much ice is there going to be exactly? I, you, you think I can just afford this much ice? This is a ridiculous amount of ice you're asking for, people. See, menus are much more... See, we can reuse those. You can't reuse ice cubes, as far as I know. And anybody that does, well, you've got a unique talent on your hands. Breaking physics. Thank you! Give me your money! And I activate that the second it's about to run out. Alright, so we lost. Wow, and we even got more guests too. But we didn't lose by as much as I thought we would. Alright, we've got some level ups. We've got some level ups. We clearly need a whole lot more. Problemo. That's just pathetic. Totally pathetic, Club Sunshine. This is what happens when insects try to be fighters. Dang it. We lost the battle. This isn't going to be good for our reputation. I'll just build it back up. It's not like you had much of a reputation to start with. You guys keep limping right along. I'll take you on as many times as you want until you're wiped out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Bye. Nah, but it's frustrating, but I think he knows right about one thing. We still have another chance. Let's challenge Eno again after we've gained more strength. There's nothing else we can do, after all. Yeah, we won't lose next time. Your earnings and fans for tonight's shift have been taken by your opponent. Try again once you're ready for a rematch. We just need better peeps. We need to level stuff up. Alright, well, first things first. I guess... I guess the girls are gonna need, like, time to recover or something. I can only assume. And I'm a little too... I can't continue the story. I don't know how much story there is left. Let's see, I don't suppose I have that trouble finder. I know, or encounter finder? This device is uh, looking for a fight, but that's not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is, like, sub-stories and what have you. Telephone cards. Actually, that reminds me. I may not have a ton of money, but we've got enough to at least do s s something. All right. Well, you know what we could do? <laughs> Extra bat nunchaku swings! Uh, that's pretty funny. Okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, what we can do is we can maybe do some training missions or something, you know? Alright, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Oh, that guy just had a convulsion! That is unfortunate. Bing, bang, boom! There we go, okay, 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 okay! That's the th that's the thing. Oh wait, no, actually, in order to open up blocks, I need to, I guess, be good at my job. In fact, I won't be able to get the training done at all until I do that. Ah, butts. I'm figuring things out. Ugh. I'm just so used to being ungodly powerful. Being Kiru for too long has really messed with my abilities. Ugh. Still waiting for that ability to apparently change between both characters at any given time, like it said I would be able to at some point. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, well then what do we do exactly? I want to just keep doing the cabaret club thingy until there ain't nothing left to do, but at the same time, I don't want to like... It's, it's clear that you know they need, they need time for their HP to, you know, go back up. I can only assume that's like the difference between, you know... Like, you know how I had to wait for, like, the payouts and stuff before I could reinvest in the real estate thingy? Makes sense. Oh, boy. Look. I'm not feeling too confident with my abilities when it comes to fighting Shakedown. Alright, I'm hearing the... I'm hearing the sounds. Aha! There you are! Ta-da! That lady has no pants! That lady has no pants! 
All right, maybe if I run around enough, we'll manage to actually, uh, I don't know, find a substory. Hello. Hmm. What esoterically random object am I going to, to find in order to recruit you? If I recruit her, she'll probably be good enough to help us. We need as many girls as we can get. That's probably why you get so many. You gotta, like, switch them out and stuff. I've been known to see the future. And you know what? I can see you working at my cabaret club. What do you say? I'm not interested. Maybe if I'm given a gift. Let's see. A high-end accessory would be nice. A ring, a necklace, or a bracelet. I'll work for you if you buy me one. A high-end accessory, eh? Okay, I'm not gonna mess around. I'll have to buy it in one of them boutiques and give it to her as a present. Alright, then we're gonna have to find a boutique. Whoa, hold up. I see karaoke, and I'm playing as Majima. Uh, this I need in my life. How do I get in? Let me in! You got a karaoke machine up in this fool? <laughs> yeah, boy! Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness, I thought this was Kiro exclusive for a while. Okay, yeah, no, this is what I want. This is what I need! Alright, what are we gonna sing? What are we gonna sing? We're gonna sing it like an expert. I don't need a... Okay, that's a guy singing. And these are all women singing songs. Alright. This seems to be the only one that actually allows Majima to sing, so that's what we're gonna do. And it seems to be a very high... high energy song. This is gonna be interesting. Oh my god, this is great. Got to focus. Who would have thought that Majima also is a, the owner of a majestic man voice? Okay, okay. I just have to make Karaoke King as usual, and I'll be fine. Yeah, let's slow down. Not expecting a slowdown in the middle of things. Gah. Bing, bang, boom. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! I wish I could look, but I, I have to pay attention to these buttons, but it, it looks amazing from what I can see in my peripheral vision. Oh, he's on roller skates! This is the greatest game ever made! Oh my god! Who are these guys? <laughs> okay, that didn't go... That didn't go as wonderfully as I had hoped. Oh, it's still a 96 though, so I mean, I guess I didn't do that badly, but still, that's too many mistakes. That's too, too many mistakes for my tastes. Thank you very much. You bet your buns I'm gonna be going back to that thing at some point. That was awesome! <laughs> it's everything I've wanted and more! Uh, good times. Good times. Okay. Well, that same virtue. Are you? Oh, no, you're the guy. Man, which do you teach? You the weapon guy? No, you're not the weapon guy. You're the thug guy, aren't you? I've been waiting for you, Majima. The time has come for me to initiate you in the Komeki ways. Kom Komeki. Eh? Hey, looking to do anything of the sort, old man. Nani? Do I look like a guy with a bunch of time to kill? <laughs> you can keep your in uh, initiation or whatever to yourself. I see. I came here to fight. If you can't keep it simple, forget it. Very well. Then I shall devote myself to restoring my former power level. Yeah, that suits me way better. Let's do this. I shall begin then. These are the challenges you must pass. Oh, butts. Okay. What are all these arts about? These are the secret arts used in my school of fighting. I intend to test your metal with each of them. Some pretty heavy sounded names there, but whatever. Let's get this party started, yeah? You seem to be taking this very lightly. Well, we will start with the Komeki Warrior Arts. Gora! How's that? It's getting living daylights out of me. 
You've been slacking off with your training, haven't you? To learn new techniques? Oh. Now get out of here and continue your training. Ah, fine. Fine. I see how it is. What about you? This looks like substory material to me. I also see key cats. Meow. What are you doing being creepy, dude? Why are you watching that child and, and a possibly mother and or sister? I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to tell. I have a hard time figuring out age in real life. What do you make? Th what do you think I'm going to be able to do with it in this game? This guy's been staring at that mom. Okay, yeah. And boy, this whole while. I guess I'm going to have to use some violence. Oh. Baseball ball. Excuse me. Can you throw me my ball, please? Yeah, sure. Got it. Oh, no. Wait, please. Eh? That ball, may I? Huh? What? Can I have my ball, please? Yeah, coming right up. Here goes. Whoa! Thank you. Ah, what's with this weirdo? Got pretty dejected all of a sudden. Looks like we're gonna have to start smashing some creepy dudes. Why are you such a creepy dude, creepy dude? Yeah. Hey, what's got you down in the dumps? Did you want to throw the ball or something? Oh, yes, very much so. Surely you need to get out to be that despondent over it. You're making me feel all guilty over here. I just wish I could have played catch with him, even if it were just for that one throw. Why him? Thank you for being so kind. Tang no thang. Thanks for getting the ball. It was only a few feet away, fool. You keep at it, kid. And you'll be in the pros. <laughs> bye bye, misters. What's your story, strange man in brown pants? Bye bye. I ain't old enough to be a mister. You are, though. You got crow's feet. What's the matter? Why are those two so fascinating to you? You have nothing to do with this. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to tell you. Those two, they're my wife and son. NANI! What are you talking about? You're obviously just a random guy to both of them. It's because my wife and son can't recognize me. What? How's that possible? Six months ago, my face was surgically altered. Surgically altered? What for? I can't get into details, but it was Yakuza related. A little bit of trouble. A little bit? Not so sure about that. The real me is officially dead. Now I live as Kiego Akatani, with a new face and identity. So you were forced into assuming another life. What's your real name? The man I was is now dead. Akatani is my real name now, I'm sorry. Man, that's complicated just imagining it. I could tell you went through a hell of an ordeal, assuming you're telling the truth. As at first, it was a shock every time I saw this stranger's face in the mirror. Plastic surgery isn't that good, especially not in the 80s. There's no one in the world who can recognize me for who I was. That realization made me want to kill myself. Oh, well, this got dark. I fought the urge a long time. But then I remembered my family. That mom and boy. Yeah, but I'm a total stranger to them now. The best I can do is watch them from afar like you saw me doing. Can't you just tell your wife and son about what happened and go back to them? If only I could do that. The real me is supposed to be dead. I doubt they'd, have, they'd believe in my outlandish story. Plus, if you suddenly just started getting all up in there, that'd be suspicious, wouldn't it? Even if I could convince them, I don't know if they could accept me with a stranger's face. Besides, I'm deep in the underworld. Deep enough to attract the kind of trouble that makes a man change his face. Just by being around me, those two could be in danger. It's better that I just watch them from a distance. Got ya. Man, now I'm really sorry I threw that ball back to your boy. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I'll wait for another opportunity. It's gotta be tough for you. Take care, eh? Thank you. You're the first person I spoke with truthfully since my face was altered. If you don't mind, may I ask your name? He's Majima. It would be nice if I could chat with you again sometime, Majima-san. Well, I should be going. I wonder if he's gonna be like a completely separate person, like he's gonna get like get like another new face or something, and that's gonna be like his gimmick or something. Either I mean, it's possible, but at the same time, the story seems a little too dark for something so comedic. I hear you. Where's that sparkle? Sparkle, sparkle, Mr. Sparkle. Fish bulb. Interesting. It only seems to go off when I'm standing about here-ish. Okay. If I walk in any other direction, it just kind of disappears on me. Yep, gone. That would imply to me that it has something to do with these bikes. But I see no sparkles on the bikes. No, wait. Ah, there we go. It's because it's by this bench. And now we got some kind of lady with a silly hat. Good for you, silly hat lady. 
million yen vending machine? Mm, don't mind if I do. And I got a mushroom for it. Fantastic. I'm gonna eat this. Nom, 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 nom. Are you guys a sub story? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, it's Shakedown. I don't think so. Not today, son. Don't think so. Hey, look at that doggy. Let's see. Interesting. There was also like a marker for something here just a second ago, but now it's gone. Now there's two over there. What? At first there was not. Okay, I'm guessing it does have to do with Shakedown. Probably because I haven't ever talked to that guy specifically. I wonder if I'm strong enough to beat him. I feel like I'm probably not. Like, I'm I just I ain't taking that risk. Like ain't nobody got time for that kind of nonsense. I'm Audi. But I'm not Audi enough to not stop this nonsense. All right, bring it on, fiends. Yeah, I must save that ghost woman with my baseball bat. Twang. Yeah. I need lots and lots of money. And I need to get far into that cabinet club thing so I can get stronger. I need to be able to beat up these dudes, like, real fast. If this was Kiru, I would have already been done with this fight and two other ones by now. Doing! Just love the sound that makes. Just crang! See, that's why you always invest in the metal bats. You don't want to go with a wooden one. That thing's just gonna break. Great, now I've got two Italian women's watches. Nobody needs that many Italian witches. Witch, witch watches? Sure, that too. Nobody needs that. Alright, well, here's a question. What's the deal with the this building now, exactly? There's a Club Mars. Oh, it's a Club Mars area business. I see. Partner with them? Okay, the partnership fee is, like, really, really cheap, so sure. Oh, yeah, we've partnered up. We've got more fans in the area now. Okay. That's not exactly what I was expecting to have happen. Huh. Okay, although, yeah, I see how that is a benefit. Huh. Well, I'm gonna go back in here and see if any of them gals are, like... Back to ship shape and stuff. We'll, we'll see. Be back in a sec. All right, well, you know what? We're going to do more of this uh, this, this special training, because apparently, I'm, I'm guessing it has some kind of payoff in the end. Another round of talking? Yes, please. Wow, you've got those battle butterflies all sorted out, don't you? Well, it is just you, Majima-san. Hey, we'll have none of that, thank you. All right, I'm the customer. You're the hostess, same as always. Let's do this crazy dance. We still ain't there yet. <laughs> Okay. Will I manage to say the correct things to a girl? Probably not. Alright, that's a step in the right direction. Hey! Looking cute as ever today. What you giggling at? Yo, what's with the giggles? I'm trying to talk to you like a customer would. Why must you treat me this way? Well, whatever works. At least you're doing okay when it's me what you're practicing with. Yeah, well, you better by this point. What a strange concept. That's so. Uh, what you've been talking about? Everything and nothing. Makes sense. Hobbies? Yeah, I seem to recall yours was.
I mean, that's what you said it was. Writing in a diary, right? Okay. Recently started keeping a log of the customers. <clears throat> right, she's talking. Fancy. Oh, that's some nice dedication to your customers. Way to go, Yuki-chan. Well, that's what you gotta do. Well, to be fair, everybody does. <laughs> hey, that's some good stuff right there, Yuki-chan. You've come a real long way. Fade away. Fade back in. Alright, the club's come quite a long way, hasn't it? And you've been here since the beginning to see it all change. That's craziness. Yeah, remember when this place had three girls in it, including you? So tell me something. Why is a girl like you working in a club like this anyway? Dun dun dun, dark secrets. Last time I asked, you clammed up just like this. Maybe it's time you cleared the air. Now, come on, don't be making that face. Mmm, I've been there, girl. Oh boy. Clearly, I have accidentally pushed down on a nerve. Hmm, really? In this day and age, companies are practically hiring bums off the street and you couldn't get a bite? Alright, girl, you just knock the moe down a bit. Well, I kind of have that problem. It's less that I'm, a, I'm a, not a good liar so much as it is I'm almost completely incapable of lying. And I, you know, apparently you have to embellish and or and lie in some ways in order to actually get to where you want to go or to get a job, and I can't do it. It feels wrong. <sighs> well, well, I mean, this applies. It applies to me, so yeah, it's a loser trait. But I wouldn't call you a loser because you're not me. Therefore, you have to not be a loser comparatively. Honesty is a talent, I'd say. I'd say being unable to tell a lie is actually a pretty positive quality, Yuki-chan. <laughs> Look around you. It's the times we live in. Everybody's dressed up the nines and lies and vanity, trying to one-up the competition. But you don't do that. You just put yourself out there the way you are. Honest almost to a fault. I want to work with people I can believe in. I'd hire an awkward gal who can't tell a lie over a bunch of smooth talk and suck you by any day of the week. Okay, yeah, that's definitely the right thing to say. Yeah, well, we're all hoping it's a positive experience for everyone. Really? I appreciate not being insulted in th that time. It's a good job. Well then, I'm glad you got rejected too. If you weren't here at the club, who knows what would have happened. As long as it's a charming level of awkward, then you're gonna do fine. Nah, I'm a few notches past charming. So how'd it happen? I imagine you must have met Yoda-chan somehow, eh? You're not really supposed to space out in public. That's a that's a health hazard. Interesting. I wonder what possessed Yoda-chan to roll up on you. Well, considering he found a platinum-tiered character, you know, to work here, he, he clearly has a good eye for this sort of thing. I haven't found any platinums yet. Oh, uh, I see. Well, I mean, he did basically just kind of make me the owner of this place on a whim. 
Nah, nah, I disagree. So, Yukatan, if you could get a normal day job now, would you still want to go do that instead of the cabaret club? Not surprising. <laughs> I see. Well, I mean, yeah. Th I mean, there's obviously going to be, like, higher paying jobs out there. I mean, it is helping you get over your social awkwardnessness. Uh. Let's see, maybe this is the right thing to say. You never know, one of your clients could turn out to be a corporate manager. Nani? <laughs> if you like, say so he might offer you a job right there on the spot. <laughs> what? Though so I guess that does happen in manga. Ah, uh, that wasn't the right thing to say at all, was it? Hey, relax, Yuka-chan. Lay your best line on me. That's worth two head pats. Ah, oh, man. You sound more nervous than a foreigner on her first day at a shady bar. Awesome. Great. I'm still failing. Let's call it a day. This went horribly. Get enough sleep at night, Yuka-chan? Hmm, that sounds mildly concerning. Oh, I see a late night guest, huh? Well, now. Eh? I wish you the best. Well then, you can chant. I wish you nothing but happiness. Eh? What are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> It's okay, it's no problem. Bit of a shame, I guess, but if you're happy, I'm happy too. <laughs> there you go. More failure. That, that was a pretty terrible display. Let's see. It could have been better. Yeah, pay more attention to the flow of the conversation. You're the most senior girl at our club, Yuki chan You gotta step it up! Oh boy. It's something! <sighs> Alright. It doesn't really seem like the. Can I, like. Can I sh close it down? Close the whole thing down! Alright. Fine, fine, fine. I'm gonna figure out the best way to go about doing this whole minigame situation is. What, what, what my best course of action from from here forward is I had a solid plan with Kiru and we managed to make it work it it took us a little while but we made it work so that's definitely what we're gonna do and I guess I'll beat up this guy while I'm trying to get over to the phone booth I hope you guys had a super fantabulously wonderful time in the next part we're gonna get our ducks in a row and find actually make some progress with Majima's uh, side stories I suppose is the best way to put them don't want to get too involved with the main story right now, so, you know, we'll do what we can with what we got. Whoop! Hang on. Hang on. We'll end it on this. Bum ba da bum! It's another card! And there you go! See you all next time! <laughs>